A lot of you guys know Larry Smith. Show of hands if you've done a six word already somewhere, anywhere in Columbus. All right, so Larry Smith, he's doing this uh, of six word memoirs and he's been doing this project in Columbus for about a year now, I think, called uh, Six in the City. Right, yeah, it's been about a year. I have to just say, um, first of all, was not supposed to follow Nancy. <laughs> um, I, I, I hear six words all the time, and I want to share a few six words. Uh, Nancy's a six word memoirist, whether she realized it or not, and uh, two that caught my ear. Girls do do things like that. And I think this is the ultimate entrepreneurial six word. Tears, 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 beers, beers, beers. <laughs> yeah. So it's been about a year. All right, so Larry, I want to uh, put you on the spot because I met you about a year ago at Mission Coffee, of course. And you told me, yeah, me and Piper, we're going to be here for about a year, and then, you know, who knows? We'll see what's, what's up. So I'm putting you on the spot. What's next? Uh, well, I'm signing my lease for another year is what's next, so that's exciting. And, uh, you know, I just have to say, so what we're going to, you know, we're just going to hopefully leave you with a little tool, the six-word tool to wrap up. And um, I was downstairs a lot where a lot of magic was happening with the students, and also the Crucible project was happening next door. And, you know, for me... I came here by accident because my wife asked me to, and why not, right? And one of my favorite six-word memoirs of all time is by a teen who said, the exits were entrances in disguise. And I got here, and I knew what I was going to do. I had to finish a book, and I had some other things to do. And I started doing what I do, which is I went out into the community to learn about it. I'm just not going to sit home and learn to cook or something, you know what I mean? So I, I got out, and I'd heard about this entrepreneurial spirit, and then, you know, I walked into Jenny's, and at the second and third and fourth taste of ice cream that that staff willingly gave me in a long line in a hot summer night, you know, I guess this was the winter actually, and I looked around, and I ate the ice cream, and I looked at the other people, and we gave each other this looks like, nobody's better than us. We rule. And that, that feeling that Jenny creates, and that ice cream that you taste. And then I went to, I went to thank yoga, and, and, you know, the, the spirit that Josie creates inside Thank Yoga, which she has words on walls. And, I mean, at Thank Yoga, they spontaneously clap at the end of a class. I have never seen that before. And then I went to Hot Chicken. And it's like, this isn't a restaurant. Joe has set up a church barbecue. <laughs> and, and no matter what your faith, or your feeling on, on religion, you're gonna see God in that chicken. <laughs> and that chicken is just so gracefully served by his staff. And I was like, oh, the, and I'm, I, I'm an accidental entrepreneur. Oh, this isn't, this is what it is. These successful businesses, and I'm speaking mostly in food and yoga, because that's mostly what I do, eat and do yoga, are about, they're successful, but they have created a community, a welcoming feeling, and they've created connection, just a singular connection in spirit I had not seen before. And, you know, I had this light bulb moment where I thought, well, I've been thinking about this idea. You know, ideas that stay with you for a little while, they keep moving over to post-it notes or, 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 you know, Evernote, like year to year to year. And one was called Six in the City. And if you don't know what Six Word Memoirs is, super briefly, it's a, a way to share a story of your life in just six words. Uh, I started as a one-month contest with Twitter in 2006 when everyone thought Twitter was goofy, including me, sort of. And uh, nine years later, there's been a million on the site. We've done a bunch of books and live events. My favorite place is the live events in the community. And I got here and I thought, oh, yeah, Six in the City is the idea I've wanted to do for years, but I didn't want to start it in New York. What if we took everything I've learned about six-word memoirs, how six works in schools, at board, mean, at board meetings, how it's an icebreaker at, 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 at uh, affinity group meetups for veterans, how it's a way to get to the essence of who you are and what matters most. What if we moved it through a city in an organizational way and told the story of Columbus from the bottom up, together, collectively? And Columbus, has, it's so, Columbus is doing so well, and there's one little good problem. We're not sure exactly who we are and how to tell that story to others. So I thought, you know what? Let's try six in the city here. And maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Worst case, I'll meet a bunch of cool people. And so I did. So it's been a year, and uh, it's been, you know, it's been uh, a fantastic project for me. And 
hopefully the idea isn't that it's not for me, but it's, it's a tool that I want to become part of the social fabric of Columbus. Because six words doesn't come over what you're doing, it comes in and it works with you. Uh, Green Columbus, we did a little six word slam at, uh, where was it? Uh, not Drake's, it was at uh, Woods. Uh, that's the one, wo thank you, Woodland Tavern. And people shared their six word vision of Columbus. Everyone now can take part. Uh, only wind turbines power my bourbon, you know? At a school in Olentangy High School, a girl in front of hundreds of classmates said, my six word memoir is, no, I do not speak Indian. And it's been moving through the city, and it's been moving through this evening. And let's, should we talk a little about what's happened just in other rooms? Yeah, so uh, I don't know if uh, you guys have stumbled upon the Crucible experience. Did anyone here check that out? Not a lot of people. That's our fault. Sorry we didn't better inform you about this experience. Um, Allie Wolner did an incredible job of uh, putting it together with a couple of other folks, Aaron King and Juan Purpose, or what we call you Juan Purpose for now. Yeah. So these guys at the back, they put together a really intentional experience. So there's so much outward stuff going on, right? Like all the storytelling and networking, and it's awesome and cool. But we wanted to create an experience to help you sort of connect with that big challenge in your life, like I shared mine. And just connecting with that helps you get through it, actually. And that's sort of the first step. So we created an, an experience called the Crucible. And then we used six words so that people could make that more accessible and also start this idea of sharing, even though it was anonymous. Uh, so why don't you share some? Uh, it was amazing and such a thoughtful, crazy thing happening next door. Um, so and it really was lovely. So uh, six words on crucible experiences, just a few. Moments when your life changed, often hard moments when your life changed. Can you get that down to six words? Got on wagon, fought the dragon. Locked up. Looked in, left open. Crossed the bridge, burned it down. Pollyanna broke rules, trust self now. Stopped relying on prepared notes. That's a life philosophy. So, and you know, what, what anything with six words is, what we want is tell me more. We, won't, we don't want it to end there, you know what I mean? Um, we, want it, we want tell me more. And so the students... Yeah, so who knew that we had high school students here tonight? Okay, good. Word got out. Um, so that was called Legends in Training. And uh, we had a great team, Ann Flaherty, and then do it, did I see Miss Ohio around here somewhere? And Sharon, I see him as well back there. Uh, these guys were like the MTV MCs making this thing jump. Uh, it was really cool, and they had a really great experience. Nancy Kramer was down there with Christopher Celeste kind of talking about Steve Jobs and the wisdom she gave him and stuff like that. Um, but the concept of legends and training was really a test. Can we plant the seeds of entrepreneurship in kids? Um, is the idea of inspiration a part of the entrepreneurial process? And if so, is that something we should be doing with all of the with all of you amazing people and these speakers? Yeah, and what we what we do at Six Word Events, a third grade class, uh, a, a big ballroom of, of of veterinarians, as I did on Sunday in Austin, oddly enough, um, is we always end with a six word slam. We're not going to do that here tonight because you guys have been here a long time. But in just three minutes of talking about six word memoirs. Uh, the students downstairs just brought it. They, there was magic down there. I mean, you guys know there was magic. And, and, and I hope that um, tomorrow, and I'm going to read some and end with that, but tomorrow you're going you're gonna to get home or tonight and your friends, your family are going to say, what happened to startup storytellers? And I, I don't know where to begin. A lot of content came at you, a lot of ideas. And so for yourself or for the person that asks, get it down to the essence in six words and then start talking. You know, And that's just a tool. It's just a fun tool that can... That can that can take you places and open up conversations. So I taught the tool to them in a big two minutes down there, maybe three. And then a, a little while later, they shared their, uh, they answered the question in six words, what will your legend be in 30 years? And so just a few. Ardent discovery, so this they're looking back and this is the story they want to tell. Ardent discovery, mission found, forever learning. She never stopped asking stupid questions. 
I was not that smart at age 16. You know? They said I couldn't. I did. Man, that boy was mad dope. <laughs> and I'll end this, and you can substitute the gender for any gender you like, because, in, and he handed me this, and when someone, a kid hands me this at the end of a little talk, that makes my day. The legend from 30 years, looking back, the boy who drew the world. Very nice. All right, so um, if Jonathan Nutt and Drew Smith